Hollywood actor Michael Madsen, best known for his unforgettable role as Bud in Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill series, has found himself in the midst of an emotional and public personal crisis. After 28 years of marriage, Madsen has filed for divorce from his estranged wife, Deanna Madsen. The shocking development comes on the heels of Madsen's public accusations that Deanna played a role in the tragic death of their son, Hudson Madsen. As the actor navigates both grief and the disintegration of his long-term marriage, the details of this painful saga have garnered widespread media attention, shedding light on the complexities of loss, blame, and mental health struggles within the family. Michael Madsen's decision to end his nearly three-decade-long marriage has sent shockwaves through Hollywood and beyond, as fans and insiders alike struggle to comprehend the breakdown of one of the industry's long-standing unions. The 66-year-old actor, famous for his rugged tough-guy roles in Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill series and other cult classics, has always been a revered figure on screen, but his personal life has recently been overshadowed by immense tragedy. The loss of his 26-year-old son, Hudson Madsen, who died by suicide in January 2022, marked a turning point in Madsen's personal life, a tragedy that, according to court documents obtained by People magazine, played a pivotal role in the dissolution of his marriage. On September 17, 2024, Michael Madsen filed for divorce in Los Angeles, citing irreconcilable differences as the formal reason for the split. However, the court documents reveal a much more complex and painful story, with Madsen holding his estranged wife, Deanna Madsen, partly responsible for their son's tragic death. This devastating accusation has further fueled the emotional turmoil that has engulfed the family, making the divorce not just a legal process, but a public airing of unresolved grief and anger. In his divorce filing, Madsen alleges that Deanna's actions, particularly her neglect, drinking, and alcoholism, contributed directly to Hudson's decision to take his own life. Madsen claims that Deanna's behaviors created a toxic environment that drove Hudson to a point of despair from which he could not recover. The loss of Hudson has clearly left a permanent scar on the family, with Madsen's legal team confirming that the actor's reasons for filing for divorce go far beyond the standard irreconcilable differences. According to his attorney, Perry Wander, the family has been grappling with the immense emotional strain brought on by Hudson's death, and these lingering issues ultimately proved to be insurmountable for the couple. Madsen's grief has not only led to his divorce filing, but also prompted him to take legal steps to protect himself from further conflict with Deanna. Alongside the divorce petition, Madsen filed for a restraining order against his estranged wife, a move that points to the depth of their fractured relationship. This protective measure was likely influenced by an earlier incident in August 2023, when Deanna filed a domestic violence complaint against Madsen, resulting in his arrest on August 17th. According to reports, Madsen was taken into custody with bail set at $20,000 before being released two days later. While these allegations were initially shocking, Madsen has maintained his innocence throughout, with his legal team insisting that the accusations were baseless and meant to damage his reputation. Through his attorney, Madsen has consistently denied all allegations of domestic abuse, instead portraying himself as the victim of a toxic relationship. Madsen claims that Deanna's actions have exacerbated his personal struggles and that her accusations were part of an attempt to undermine his character during this difficult period in their marriage. He recounted a particular incident in which Deanna allegedly broke into his home and had him wrongfully arrested, a moment that, in his eyes, marked the breaking point of their already strained relationship. In a public statement reflecting on the situation, Madsen expressed his frustration and the emotional toll that his marriage had taken on him. Deanna has played a significant role in contributing to my personal problems, Madsen said. I am a victim in this toxic relationship, and it all reached a breaking point when she entered my home unlawfully and had me wrongfully arrested for domestic violence. These words underscore the depth of Madsen's pain, not just from the death of his son, but also from the unraveling of his long-term marriage. His attorney, Perry Wander, emphasized that despite the turmoil, Madsen had shown great compassion and restraint in dealing with his estranged wife, highlighting his continued desire to resolve the situation peacefully 
while maintaining his innocence in the face of what Wander described as unfounded accusations. On the other side, Deanna has responded to the escalating legal conflict by acknowledging the challenges that both she and Michael have faced, particularly in light of their son's death. In a statement, Deanna reflected on Michael's personal struggles, stating, Michael is battling his own personal issues, and I, along with our children, have supported him in every way we can. Despite her accusations of domestic violence, Deanna has emphasized that her main priority has always been the well-being of her husband and their family. Her words suggest a recognition of the immense pain that both parties are experiencing, though it is clear that the relationship has reached a point of no return. While Deanna has publicly acknowledged Michael's struggles, it is evident that the couple's differing perspectives on how to deal with their grief and personal challenges have driven them further apart. The divorce marks not only the end of their marriage, but also the culmination of years of emotional strain following the tragic loss of their son. For Michael, the decision to file for divorce and request a restraining order represents an attempt to distance himself from the pain of the past and move toward a future that, while uncertain, may offer some form of healing. The highly publicized divorce of Michael and Deanna Madsen serves as a stark reminder of the devastating impact that personal loss can have on a relationship. While the couple once shared nearly three decades of life together, the emotional weight of Hudson's death has proven too heavy for their marriage to bear. As the legal battle unfolds, the world will watch as both Michael and Deanna navigate the painful process of not only ending their marriage, but also coming to terms with the grief that has defined their lives in recent years. The emotional strain on Michael and Deanna's relationship reached a tipping point following the death of their son, Hudson. Hudson Madsen was a U.S. Army sergeant stationed in Hawaii with his wife, Carly Madsen. On January 25, 2022, Hudson took his own life, an event that shook the Madsen family to its core. According to the City and County of Honolulu Medical Examiner's Office, Hudson died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound, leaving his family in shock and grief. In the months and years following Hudson's death, Michael has publicly shared his devastation over the loss of his son. In a 2022 interview with the Los Angeles Times, Madsen opened up about the overwhelming pain he and his family felt in the wake of Hudson's suicide. The actor expressed disbelief, recounting how just days before the tragedy, he had spoken to his son, who seemed upbeat and optimistic. Hudson's final message to his father was, I love you, Dad a memory that haunts Madsen as he grapples with the senselessness of his son's death. Michael described the shock he felt upon learning that Hudson had taken his own life, as there were no outward signs of depression or emotional distress that he had noticed. Hudson had recently completed his first tour of duty in Afghanistan and, from all appearances, was in a stable and happy marriage with his wife Carly. The couple frequently shared photos of their life together on social media, presenting an image of a strong, supportive partnership. In the wake of Hudson's death, Michael has been left to piece together the puzzle of why his son, who seemed to have so much to live for, chose to end his life. He has expressed deep sorrow and confusion, stating, Hudson had the typical challenges everyone faces in life. Financial issues, sure, but he was looking forward to starting a family and had plans for the future. It's impossible to understand why this happened. Masson has called for a full military investigation into the circumstances surrounding Hudson's death, suspecting that his son may have been discouraged from seeking mental health treatment due to the stigma within the military. According to Michael, Hudson had been working with a therapist, but he believed that his son may have been shamed by military officers for seeking help, which led him to withdraw from the support he desperately needed. Masson has speculated that this sense of shame and isolation may have contributed to Hudson's decision to take his life. In his efforts to find closure and understand the full scope of what led to Hudson's death, Michael has sought answers from both the military and his personal life, but the pain of losing his son remains unbearable. This unresolved grief combined with the escalating tensions in his marriage has culminated in the bitter divorce proceedings now underway. The profound grief following the death of Hudson Madsen has created an irreparable divide between Michael Madsen and his estranged wife, Deanna. What began as shared sorrow has evolved into deep-seated blame, accusations, and an emotional chasm that has ultimately led to their separation and impending divorce. The loss of their son in January 2022 
under such heartbreaking circumstances would devastate any family. But for the Madsons, it triggered a complex unraveling of their nearly three-decade-long marriage. Michael Madsen's accusations that Deanna's alleged drinking, neglect, and ongoing struggles with alcoholism contributed to Hudson's suicide have added a painful and bitter dimension to an already tragic narrative. In his divorce filings, Michael has placed significant blame on Deanna, claiming that her behaviors, rather than being those of a supportive mother, were toxic enough to push their son toward despair. These accusations have not only fractured their relationship beyond repair, but have also added an element of guilt and shame to an already overwhelming burden of grief for both parents. The tragic death of Hudson, who took his life at the age of 26, shattered the family in ways that seem impossible to men. While Deanna has remained relatively quiet about these specific allegations, she has acknowledged that Michael has been grappling with his own emotional issues in the wake of their son's passing. The weight of these unresolved feelings, blame, sorrow, guilt, has permeated every aspect of their relationship, creating an increasingly toxic environment that neither could escape from. Now, as Michael and Deanna head toward divorce, the proceedings are likely to be highly contentious, given the accusations that have already been publicly aired. With Michael's decision to seek a restraining order against Deanna, the separation is clearly far from amicable. The restraining order, which followed domestic violence accusations filed by Deanna, in August 2023, suggests that the couple's interactions have become increasingly volatile. In her complaint, Deanna alleged that Michael had been violent toward her, leading to his arrest on August 17th, though Michael has vehemently denied these charges. His legal team insists that the accusations were unfounded and that Michael is the true victim in the relationship, having been pushed to his emotional limits by Deanna's actions over the years. The restraining order request further complicates an already strained dynamic, with both parties publicly clashing over issues of blame, responsibility, and domestic violence. What was once a marriage held together by nearly 30 years of shared memories has now devolved into a highly public legal battle, with each side accusing the other of wrongdoing. For Michael, the decision to file for divorce after so many years together appears to be part of an effort to free himself from a situation that he feels has contributed to his own emotional struggles. As Michael moves forward with the divorce, it's clear that he is seeking not only legal protection, but also personal closure from the pain of the past few years. The death of Hudson, coupled with the deterioration of his marriage, has taken an immense toll on his mental and emotional well-being. His public statements reflect the anguish of a father who is still trying to make sense of his son's untimely death while also dealing with the breakdown of a long-standing marriage. For Michael, this divorce marks the end of not only his relationship with Deanna, but also a chapter of his life that has been defined by profound loss and unresolved grief. Yet even as Michael seeks to rebuild his life after such a tragic period, the complexities of his divorce from Deanna indicate that the path ahead will be far from simple. The legal battles over domestic violence allegations and questions of blame surrounding Hudson's death are likely to persist, keeping both Michael and Deanna embroiled in conflict for some time. As they each continue to process their own pain and guilt, the public scrutiny surrounding the divorce will only add to the emotional toll. For Michael, the divorce represents an attempt to find peace and start anew after a period of immense personal tragedy. However, the deep wounds left by Hudson's death and the accusations surrounding it mean that finding true closure may remain elusive for both him and Deanna. Their marriage, once a foundation of stability and partnership, has now become a reflection of the unresolved grief that has consumed their family. In many ways, the end of their relationship is symbolic of the emotional devastation that has followed Hudson's death, a heartbreak that neither has been able to fully come to terms with. As the divorce proceedings unfold, Michael's focus remains on understanding what led to his son's death and seeking a sense of peace amid the chaos. His legal filings and public statements suggest a man still grappling with the enormity of his loss, while also trying to distance himself from the toxicity that has come to define his marriage. For Michael, this divorce marks the end of a 28-year union, but more than that, it represents his attempt to move forward after a period of unfathomable pain and personal tragedy. 
While the future remains uncertain for both Michael and Deanna, one thing is clear. The grief that has consumed the Madsen family will continue to cast a long shadow over their lives for years to come. The divorce may offer Michael a way to rebuild his life, but the process of healing, both from the loss of his son and the breakdown of his marriage, will likely be a long and painful journey. The untimely death of Hudson Madsen, combined with the subsequent collapse of Michael and Deanna Madsen's 28-year marriage, paints a deeply tragic picture of the far-reaching effects of mental health struggles and unresolved grief within families. Hudson, the beloved son of the Hollywood couple, died by suicide in January 2022 at the age of 26, leaving his family in shock and sorrow. His death has since become a focal point in the unraveling of his parents' relationship, highlighting how the weight of grief, when left unaddressed, can fracture even the most long-standing bonds. Hudson's suicide exposed a host of emotional and psychological issues that the Madsen family had been grappling with for years. A U.S. Army sergeant, Hudson had recently completed a deployment in Afghanistan where he had served honorably. But like many veterans returning from war, Hudson may have faced unseen challenges. Michael Madsen has repeatedly voiced concerns that his son was shamed by military officers for seeking mental health support, potentially driving him away from the help he needed. Hudson's death has thus sparked broader conversations about mental health in the military, particularly regarding the stigma surrounding mental health care among servicemen and women. For Michael, the unanswered questions surrounding his son's final days have become a painful obsession, one that he continues to grapple with both publicly and privately. As Michael searches for answers about what led Hudson to take his own life, his grief has been compounded by the unraveling of his marriage to Deanna. In his divorce filings, Michael has placed part of the blame for Hudson's death on Deanna, accusing her of neglect, excessive drinking, and behaviors that may have contributed to their son's emotional struggles. This accusation has created a bitter divide between the once close-knit couple, turning their shared grief into a source of conflict. For Michael, the pain of losing Hudson is inextricably linked to the breakdown of his marriage. As both parents struggle to process their sorrow, in ways that have driven them further apart rather than closer together. The public nature of their legal battles has only intensified the scrutiny on the Madsen family's tragedy. As Michael and Deanna clash over issues of blame and responsibility, the deeply personal details of their lives are being laid bare for all to see. The divorce proceedings, which include accusations of domestic violence and toxic behavior on both sides, have become a painful extension of the grief they both feel. Michael has sought legal protection from Deanna, filing for a restraining order amid her allegations of abuse, allegations that he vehemently denies. This ongoing conflict has added a layer of bitterness to an already heartbreaking situation, as both parties publicly accuse each other of contributing to the toxic environment that now surrounds them. Hudson's death remains the tragic center of the Madsen family's disintegration. As the couple battles in court, the memory of their son looms large, serving as both a reminder of their shared love and the deep pain that now divides them. Michael's public statements about Hudson's suicide reflect a father still grappling with the shock and sorrow of losing a child, while also attempting to understand the factors that led his son to such a tragic end. In the midst of the legal battles and personal accusations, Hudson's memory remains a constant, heartbreaking element of the story a life lost too soon, and a grief that has yet to find resolution. This tragic legacy serves as a stark reminder of the devastating impact of mental health struggles and unresolved trauma within families. Hudson's death has cast a long shadow over the Madsen family, revealing the complexities of navigating grief and the toll it can take on even the most stable relationships. As Michael and Deanna continue to battle in court, their story has sparked important conversations about the challenges of mental health, particularly for veterans like Hudson, and the ways in which loss can either bring families together or tear them apart. As the legal proceedings unfold, the Madsen family's story continues to draw attention, not only for the painful personal details being revealed, but also for the broader issues it raises about mental health, military service, and the complexities of familial relationships. The very public nature of Michael and Deanna's divorce has shown a light on the ways in which grief, when not properly addressed, 
can fester and lead to further conflict and emotional distress. The accusations of blame, the bitterness between the estranged couple, and the public airing of their private struggles all point to the profound difficulty of navigating personal loss in the public eye. For Michael, the road ahead remains uncertain. His focus on understanding the circumstances of Hudson's death will likely continue to shape his personal and public journey in the years to come. Despite the bitterness and conflict that now defines his relationship with Deanna, Michael has made it clear that his priority remains finding peace after his son's tragic passing. In his public statements and legal filings, Michael's grief is palpable as he seeks both answers and closure. Even as the pain of Hudson's death lingers, the Madsen family's tragedy serves as a powerful reminder of the deep wounds that loss can inflict and the difficult, often painful path toward healing that lies ahead for all involved. For Michael and Deanna, the journey toward healing may be long and fraught with obstacles, but the memory of their son will continue to be a central part of their story, a reminder of the love they once shared and the profound grief they now endure. As they each move forward in their own way, the legacy of Hudson's life and death will remain a permanent part of their lives, shaping their future and their ongoing search for peace.